Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of Navy Lingo from the National Civil War Naval Museum in Columbus, Georgia. I'm Jeff Seymour, historian and curator here at this fine facility and today I'm going to talk about one of the most confusing things out there and that is how to determine the speed of a ship. And if you've ever heard of ships traveling at so-and-so knots, that is a measurement of speed. Now this was a lot more difficult to arrive at because if you're traveling on land, that's easy, that's just travel by foot. In fact, we, we have to go back to Latin to understand that. Latin, mile, 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 and that's a thousand paces. But how do you determine that distance on water? And so the idea of the knot is born. And what began to happen is the log. The log, yeah, you throw a log over the side of the ship and you let your line attached to it trail out. And at certain spaces, you would put a knot in that line, like I've got here. Now, this one's a lot more complicated, and of course, in the early days of, of doing this, there is some variations. So we had to start figuring out how this works, really. But the idea started uh, really to get into focus, probably the early 1600s. And what they would do is throw the log, which became a piece of wood that's usually triangular shaped, uh, but this changed from time to time, but usually triangular shaped, and it would drag in the water. And you throw the line, you throw the log over the stern of the ship. And as this plays out, you count the number of knots that pass. Now there's a, there's a secret as this became standard. Uh, that at 43 inches, or a little bit more than that, became the standard for which this, the distance between the knots became. And so this is actually equivalent to one one twentieth of a mile. This became the standard. And what is an official knot in terms of the land lovers, the walking around? It's about 1.15 mile an hour. And so that is how the knot became used not only in maritime uh, service, but also in aviation, because it was easier uh, dealing with arcs going around the globe. So ladies and gentlemen, the knot unknotted for you. Ladies and gentlemen, join us at www.portcolumbus.org.